Hey, it's Holly. Welcome to Living It Country. Today, I'm all cozied up in my fall sweatshirt, and I'm so excited because it is officially fall here on our channel, and I am sharing a huge fall home decor haul from a small shop called Antique Farmhouse. And if you're not familiar with them, I have been sharing them for over four years now, and I am obsessed. So many of my everyday pieces are from their shop, but I'm excited because we have a dedicated full fall video. Everything is fall today, so I'm really, really excited. And if you guys aren't familiar with how their shop works, it is very, very different than other home decor shops. So it is almost like a daily deal site. So every day they come out with a new collection of home decor every single day, all year long. And so you wanna snag it when you see it because when it is sold out, you just never know if it's going to come back. And so we have a whole collection for the things that I'm sharing here today. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. We are gonna start off with my favorite item first and it is this dough bowl candle. I love dough bowls because it just kind of brings that vintage element, but kind of that cozy element to a home and really has a story to tell. But I also love candles because just different scents bring back different memories. And I just love that. It kind of just makes, when you think of a special memory to a scent, just makes it feel more at home. You know what I mean? So I love this and I love that it is pumpkin shaped and it is the perfect size for a tray. So I have actually had it on my dining room table. I have this beautiful tray where I have this. I have um, a little short candlestick. I have a beautiful faux kind of arrangement, a floral arrangement, and it just ties it all together so perfectly. And if you guys want some inspiration of how it looks in my home, Antique Farmhouse actually has a bunch of photos that I've put together and it is on their website in the description box down below. So if you guys wanna go check those out, um, it'll be a fun way to see how I've styled these in my spaces too. The next item is I think just so, so darling and it is this cast iron mouse key holder and it actually comes in a set of two. So if you wanna get one for a family member, a friend, I also think this would be so cute in a gift basket if you're looking for a really unique find maybe somebody doesn't have and definitely a conversation starter. So you just obviously open it up just like this and you can hide away your key. And obviously it might scare somebody with it looking like a mouse and maybe that will keep them away from your key hider. Now, while we're talking about all things cast iron, I thought it'd be appropriate to share with you guys this cast iron crow. Now, this is extremely, extremely heavy. A great piece for outside, just like that mouse key hider. But I actually have this on my shelves near my TV where my fireplace is. It's such a great fill-in accent piece. I actually have it right in front of one of my signs that I'll share with you guys here in a little bit, but it sparks the joy of my children. They love it. And one thing I really, really enjoy about decorating for these seasons is how just excited my kids are. And so I absolutely love this for that reason, just seeing the smiles on their faces and they've really, really been enjoying all the pumpkins. So that makes me so, so happy. Now, one of the easiest ways to simply kind of transition your outside space for a new season is with a new doormat. And I got this high there pumpkin one, which I think is so, so cute. And if you really wanna take it to the next level, one thing I love to do is layer my doormats and it just really, really elevates it. So I got this beautiful checkered one. It has this kind of greenish, almost like a sage green color to it. And it looks phenomenal especially next to that mouse key finder. I think it just looks so darling, so cozy, and just a really inviting space to walk into. So this is definitely one that I have been absolutely loving. Now, probably one of my favorite things about these mugs is the neutral colors. So it's got this beautiful, almost beige tan color, and just the simple, really, really elegant text to it. And it's got like this dark, kind of chocolatey brown accent to it. So I really, really love these. I've actually had them styled on my shelves in my kitchen near my coffee maker and I think it looks absolutely phenomenal. So we have Good Morning Pumpkin, which I think is really, really cute. We have Hello Fall right here. And then we're switching up the text 
style a little bit with grab a blanket, get cozy, and then sweater weather. Now we're getting to the pumpkins and these are such a great find. These are called the Fabulous Felt set of two pumpkins. They're the exact same size, but they just differ by color. So this one's a really dark gray, and then this one is a light gray, and I just love the flexibility of these. So I've had them styled kind of, one of them tilted, one of them up, on the right side of my TV, as well as on my candlesticks, which, my candle risers, which have two different heights to them. Really, really cute, and I love that I could just throw these anywhere, and it just really makes it feel just so much more fall, so more cozy, and I just love the color of these, especially if you're going for a more neutral style to your home. The next item we have is this five inch pumpkin, and this one's full of rice, so it's a little bit more flexible than the other ones that I shared, but I love the creamy white look of this, and I love that it just feels like a fuzzy blanket, so really, really great find, and this one would definitely be my favorite. Now this farmhouse wood riser is one that works so great for all year long, but the colors of it work so well for fall. I also kind of played around with this on my dining room table and I put a few really, really cute finds. So I'll share those in a minute. Maybe I'll do it now. So we have this really cute sign, which is also a part of the collection today. This one's from Kendrick Home. So we have this sign and it says, leaves are falling, autumn is calling. I also had this really beautiful wood riser. I actually got that from Antique Farmhouse probably about two years ago. And then we put this beautiful pumpkin adobo candle on it. And I think that I had maybe a, like a, a fall floral arrangement on it or something like that, but so, so cute. Another really cute look for this is if you have space in your kitchen and wanna put like your coffee mug, some syrup, your coffee maker. My coffee maker is a little too big for this, but if you have a K-cup one, it would work so, so well for those. And it's just a really, really great piece. Next up, we have this really, really cute accent pillow, and it's got these pom-poms. They're like a really deep orange color, but we have that pom-pom effect, and it says, hello, pumpkin. I have it, of course, in my living room, and it's just such a fun way to get festive for that fall season, really simply. And what I love about all of these items, a lot of you might not know this, but one thing I'm always looking for when storing my home decor is making sure it's something that can be stored efficiently and it's not gonna be big and bulky. So I might get pieces like candles seasonally that I will actually use and you know things like syrup, things that feel like fall that we're gonna actually use. A lot of things I love to decorate are with like food items that we are going to know eat and things like that so I love that all these pieces are really really going to be storage friendly and it's gonna be a breeze to put away that way when Christmas comes around it's gonna be easy to put away <laughs> and get those Christmas stuff out faster next up we are going to be sharing metal signs and this can be such a phenomenal way to layer your decor and I love the look that it has now, I take a very minimal approach when it comes to words in my home and how many I have. I like to count, I like to make sure, I don't want too many of them in one space versus another. So when it comes to seasonal decorating, and what I mean by that is more fall, and the Christmas season is I will eliminate the everyday decor. Like right behind me, I have my ice sign. I will take that down and I'll replace it with something more seasonal. So I'm not adding to it. I am, you know, balancing it out. And so that's the way that works for me because I want it to look very clean in my home but also cozy at the same time. And I find it very hard in my home. We have very, very tall ceilings. So to get that cozy feel takes, I feel like, a lot of effort for me. And so it's a lot of trial and error. And I am sure you guys totally understand because it, sometimes it's, we're never gonna be perfect at something, right? So it's just about figuring it out, doing the best you can and enjoying the process and enjoying it. So we're gonna go ahead and share the sign. We have this Hello Pumpkin sign. And out of all the signs, I thought this was gonna be my favorite. And one thing I always am so pleasantly surprised by with myself is sometimes the things I think are gonna be my favorite thing to decorate with, something else ends up being my favorite because it makes me think outside of the box, trial and error, playing around, things like that. So this one I actually have 
had right there where my mirror is, right underneath, and I've actually had it behind everything. And it's like this pop of a little bit of color and layering, and it looks absolutely phenomenal. I'm so, so happy with it. Of course, I would like it to be visually 100% out there, but it looks so, so good. The next two items are very, very similar of Metal Signs. Can you guys see that? I'm trying to balance it. We have this one, and I love the colors of these so, so much. So because I did so much neutral decor, I can do something like this and it's not gonna look overwhelming. And with my TV screen, it's just a bunch of pumpkins, orange pumpkins. It looks so, so cute. The colors complement each other. So I have this give thanks with a grateful heart sign. And then this one says, I can't remember what this one says. Forever grateful, blessed, always thankful beyond measure. I think I read that out of order, that's okay. So, so cute, I have one on each side. This one actually goes, I think I have this. Do I have it upside down? Which one do I have upside down? No, I didn't. Oh my gosh, you know what I've been doing? Okay. I have had it styled like this. Actually, the nail holes have it styled like this. You can put it on your wall. I, I like to lean my signs but I have had it just like this, but you can have it anyway, just because of the way the words are. But how cute is that? I just figured that out as I'm filming this video and I've had this decorated in my space for a while now. Next up, we have this beautiful ticking stripe. You guys know I love ticking stripe, but this large pumpkin and we have this wood element to the top and it's just really, really cute. I feel like this screams that farmhouse, kind of like that rustic farmhouse style. Such a cute accent piece, and I've actually had this paired with that beautiful, kind of like that white fuzzy blanket uh, pumpkin, and that has been on my fireplace mantle. It looks incredible, and I love how you can really mix and match these items, and it just looks absolutely stunning. I love it so much. <laughs> That is everything for today's fall home decor haul from Antique Farmhouse. I hope you guys love today's video and we'd love to see you guys over on the website. Check out how we've styled these pieces and maybe even check out the previous days or weeks of their collection. I'll have it all linked below. Maybe I'll do something fun and I'll share some of my favorites from the other ladies' collections. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. Happy fall and I will see you guys in our next video. Bye.